What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. Since about Halloween ends here today. So Jamie Lee Curtis has arrived on set of Halloween End, which is underway, which is currently in production filming at this point in time out in Savannah, Georgia, scheduled to be released later this year in October. Uh, Jamie Lee Curtis has arrived on set. She is joined by Andy Matichak and Kyle Richards, who is back portraying little Lindsay Wallace from the original who returned in Halloween Kills, which came out last year. So we've gotten some behind the scenes images that have now started to appear online. I'll leave a link to this uh, Facebook Facebook page titled Halloween fans has been sharing or has shared a couple behind the scenes images. If you want to see some of the on site locations for the film. And we did get this official image coming from Jamie Lee Curtis on her Instagram, I believe, where she shared an image of herself with Kyle Richards and Andy Matichak. Looks like these are the three characters that will be playing a big part with each other like i was starting to say i wanted uh kyle richards to be like the feeling for the absence of karen i didn't want to just have kyle richards out out there doing her own thing i wanted her to be in the mix with Lori and allison getting to see what they're dealing with now just getting to understand what allison in particular is dealing with uh also Lori, since she's now lost her daughter who she spent all that time trying to protect as a kid only to still have the boogeyman take her daughter from her so you know i'm sure this final confrontation be between Lori strode and michael myers will be a very emotional one in terms of just everything that they have put forth or put us through in terms of the new timeline that we have from the original movie to now halloween 2018 and the events of halloween kills and just all this emotional emotional weight that's going to be lifted from someone's shoulders once Halloween ends is said and done. Whether that be Michael Myers himself, Laurie Strode, Allison, maybe even Kyle, Richard's character, uh, Lindsay Wallace. Because the movie could go in a plethora of different ways in terms of how it ends. Still don't have any idea, of course, how the radio tower will factor in. The other thing that I want to talk about really quick was just the fact that Nick Castle who was the original Michael Myers for the original film, he has confirmed once again over on his Twitter that he will not be portraying Michael Myers full-fledged this time around. That is still going to be James Drew Courtney, but he did go ahead and confirm that just like with the other two entries that we've gotten recently, he will be having a cameo appearance. Now, whether or not that is going to be, of course, him doing those same cameos he's done as Michael Myers in the last two movies, we don't know that yet. I'm assuming it's the same thing where James Drew Courtney is the Michael Myers 90% of the time, 99% of the time. But then that one smidgen of the time you see Nick Castle doing some familiar Michael Myers mannerisms, but he won't be the one that's the, the whole entire Michael Myers. That, that's going to be James Drew Courtney. And he says we just need to give credit where credit is due since he's not the one portraying Michael Myers. He's the OG shape. He will be having a cameo, but james drew courtney is your michael myers through and through uh so it'll be nice to see nick castle back of course and pinpoint where he was if he is back as michael myers once again for that small cameo he's referencing uh can't wait to see what else comes out over the coming weeks you know again those behind the scenes images that the halloween fans group is sharing on facebook i know some other people will start sharing things no doubt if they're out there at the filming locations taking pictures so we'll get to see some things going on on set soon when they start arriving online for us to speculate on and kind of just pinpoint as to what this could mean for the, where this narrative is going i know some people have started talking about the idea of what if michael myers were to die early on in the movie i don't think that's a very good idea i think what you would rather have done if you're gonna have michael myers killed off in the very beginning i think what you should do is not well you don't do that at all you probably would have a better outcome if you just don't have michael myers in the first maybe good chunk of the movie but then he's he's there for the last hour or so because let's say this movie is over two hours and let's say it's a two hour 20 minute movie let's say we do that now if the movie is over two hours and 20 minutes let's just pretend then i think you could get away with giving us 40 minutes of spending time with characters maybe even 50 minutes of spending time with characters and then the whole next hour is just all of that carnage that you have been teasing us about and we kind of just seen glimpses of it all around the movie like i think you could do a good job at showing us the shape that he's there but they don't know that he's there 
we could like give us give us vibes of the original i think that's something you could do like but pro it's prolonged even more that first hour we're catching up with these characters learning stuff about the new ones seeing how their lives have been impacted from halloween halloween 2018 and halloween kills they don't know that the shape is back we do because we're going to be seeing james u courtney wandering around haddonfield uh snooping around corners etc very much so in the essence of what was happening in the original but no one knows that that's michael no one's spotting him if you can pull it off but then in the next last hour that's where all the bloodshed is that's where all the heartbreak comes that's where the final confrontation between michael and Lori takes place that's where Allison Strode, who again, I'm still adamant that she should be the one that ends Michael Myers. Laurie Strode as a character does not, does not have to die again. There's no need, I would say, for that to happen again if it's going to be in a lackluster manner as well. If the character dies, then the character dies. But, you know, I hope it doesn't make me angry <laughs> the way Halloween Resurrection makes me infuriated with how they handle that character. That character is such a top tier final girl and then for her to be killed off in the most lackluster way from her doing some stupid making some stupid character decisions that's just baffling to anyone i think cares about Lori's arc and the way she's been written and it feels like a betrayal of her character so hopefully we don't get anything like that in halloween ends if she were to die again so who knows what they could do with this movie honestly it's not my movie it's theirs <laughs> but hopefully we get something that's very entertaining coming our way in the month of october uh lots of goodies of course coming as well we don't know what different directions they could take and who, who's to say that this is even going to be the last halloween movie from them i know that's what they intend for it to be but you know if if the demand if the demand is there maybe they can convince them to come back for one more movie and it also it depends on how this how this goes because what they could do while they could abandon this timeline we could still have the same crew going back and revisiting other timelines it depends on what they want to do though of course in their careers but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i have links on my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video